everyone and welcome to our 42nd annual culture show, A Cutaway, Fine Cut, Ning Tung Yao. My name is Juliana and I'm the producer for this year's show. As producers, it is our goal to foster a collaborative and creative space on campus for the individuality of our Vietnamese and Vietnamese American diasporic experience to be reflected and honored upon. Culture Show is a place of change. It's where issues where we present or hope to incite, incite difference in the world. Culture Show is also a place that's near and dear to my heart. It's where our identities were constructed. It's where long-lasting friendships are formed. And it's where our creative spirits are energized. In response to the difficult circumstances of this past year, we were left with the question of what to do with this year's Culture Show. That last year, we had to have our Culture Show canceled. And we wanted to continue to showcase the talents, voices, and stories of our community. Now more than ever, we thought it was very important to showcase our voice. With that being said, thanks to our incredible team of 25 people, including our cast and core members, we bring you the first ever film production of Cal VSA Culture Show. This is Culture Show 42. To my fellow cast and core members, thank you so much for following me along this journey this year to produce this year's Culture Show. Your work truly does not go unnoticed and I could not have asked for a better ensemble. I love and appreciate you guys all so much and I'm so excited for you guys to see the final clip. Venmo donations marked with AOC will also be entered to a raffle to win a signed copy of The Committed by Viet Thanh Nguy, courtesy of East Wind Bookstores. We will also have another signed copy of The Committed by Viet Thanh Nguy to win during our Zoom after party, which is after this premiere at 8 p.m. More information can be found in our description box below or on our Instagram at CalVSA Culture Show. We hope you enjoy the show!
are you? Oh, gì khỏe? Con gái lớn xinh quá hả? Học hành giỏi giang lắm không con? Hay tên mẹ con nên gì bay về thăm con liền nè. Dạo này chắc con bận biểu lắm phải không? How are you? Dạ, uh, con cũng bận lắm gì ơi. I'm a little tired. <cười> oh, tội nghiệp cháu có gì ghê. Dì về đây thăm con được một tuần thì có gì giúp được thì gì giúp. Con nhớ mẹ nhiều lắm dì ơi. Dì cũng nhớ mẹ con nhiều lắm. Mia. Mẹ con là người sống vì người khác. Trong mấy anh chị em, mẹ con là chị hai. Nên hy sinh tất cả cho các em của mình. Ở nhà thì giúp ông bà ngoại nấu cơm, dọn dẹp nhà cửa. Không có thời gian để học hành. Rồi đến trường á, thì tới giờ ra chơi á, phải chạy xuống căng tin phụ ông bà ngoại bán thức ăn cho học sinh. Còn bằng tuổi như con á, là mẹ con có chồng. Để giúp cho gia đình bớt khổ. Rồi có con nên mẹ con phải nghỉ học giữa chừng. Con biết lúc đó mẹ con đang học đại học ngoại thương mà phải không? Dạ. Rồi đây. Đừng có buồn nhiều nữa nha con Vài tuần nữa con qua ở với ba của con rồi Nhà gì thì cũng ở gần chỗ của ba con Nên có gì gì cháu mình gặp nhau Rồi gì đưa con đi tham quan thành phố You know, every year I'd kind of try to find a new place to go. It never really worked out though. I mean, I always had to make sure to visit the places my father used to take me to. And that took up basically the whole day. And this was on his birthday? Right, right. I mean, it just felt like a special time. And it wasn't just on that day though. I used to take him everywhere. The, um, the camera, I mean. But yeah, on that day, it just felt more like I was with him. And not just showing him stuff, because we had actually gone to these places together. And what places did you guys go to? For the most part, they weren't particularly grand. You know, my father was never a natural wonders type of guy. From his experiences in this world, he always told me that if he couldn't see the biggest and bestest things, then he'd do his best to see the beauty in the everyday. And he did, you know. Ever since I was a kid, he always used to tell me, that nothing is unimportant. Everything has its own beauty, its own meaning, and you could create your own meaning out of anything. Even if you couldn't share it with anyone, even if no one understood, it didn't really matter. It only had to make sense to yourself. Yeah, bookstores, bookstores. Used to take me to a variety of them, but there was this one special one that we used to go to all the time. It's really niche and obscure, so you may not have heard about it. Really? What's it called? Barnes and Noble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. But it might not seem like all that because it's just this huge place, right? But you know, when my father first came here, it was his favorite thing. And not even just for the books. You know, we'd be sitting in the kindy corner, my father on the floor and me on those small stools, and I'd be super engrossed in whatever I was reading at the time, but he'd just interrupt me. He'd point at a person in the gift section who was browsing through the knickknacks, and he'd ask me what I thought they were doing. At first, I always answered with buying a toy, and that wasn't incorrect, but he'd always push me further. He'd ask, who do you think that they're buying it for? Themselves? Or maybe a friend, a family member? And what does it even mean that they're buying a gift from Barnes & Noble's? Maybe this was a last minute anniversary gift that they forgot about. This, um, this camcorder was his. He used to film a lot of things. A lot of small things. You know, we'd be standing on the grass together and he'd film our feet. Or when it was a sunset, he'd film a tree that was being lit up by the glow. And he'd film me a lot too. At first, I, I never really understood it. Like, why did all these small things matter so much anyway? But he'd always answer me with, nothing's unimportant. 
everything has its own story if you're willing to find it. He, um, he passed before he could tell me his own story. But after he died, I made it a yearly tradition to go to all the places that he used to bring me to. And I brought this little thing with me too, so that he could come along. And you do this every year. For how long? Well, let's see. Jeez, it's been so long, I gotta think. Um, so... I started going a year after he died, I think. And I was eight then. And I stopped going after I met V, I think. So about 12 years now? Nhà gì không có lớn lắm nhưng mà đủ chỗ cho ba người Con để tạm đồ ở đây đi rồi một chút nữa dọn phòng rủ rồi mình dọn vô đó Đây là gì? Ừ Rồi đi qua đây, vì chỉ cho đây nữa nè Đây là nhà bếp Có tủ lạnh đó, đồ ăn thức uống trong đó Thì con cứ mở tủ lạnh mà lấy ăn uống Ok ha Đấy chị ba Rồi đi qua đây vì chỉ cho cái này nữa nè Yes! Qua đây đây là Vi, chị họ của con nè Nhớ hồi nhỏ xíu hai đứa gặp nhau không? Vi, đây là Cass, con trai của gì? Vi bây giờ nó ở qua ở tạm với mẹ con mình vài tuần Thôi, hai đứa ở nhà nói chuyện làm quen nha Vậy đi con chị chút xíu về uh, Hi, it's nice to meet you I... Sáng gì đi chợ để mua đồ về nấu cho hai chị em ăn Con có thích ăn gì không? Chắc nữa gì nấu no, Anything is fine Thôi để gì vô coi khách nó thấp chưa nha Khách ơi con thấp chưa để cho chị đi vô đánh răng Sorry we didn't get a chance to speak yesterday, I was it's just... It's okay. We don't have to do this. What? Um, do what? We don't have to talk. Uh, but I want to. You're my cousin and I haven't seen you in so long and I don't know anything about you. I haven't seen you since we were babies. <sighs> What's there to know? I mean, I'm not interested in your life story and you don't have to pretend to be interested in mine but, either. But I am interested. Um, we're gonna be living together, well, until my dad finishes up, and, um, that could be a while. I gotta go. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I'll see you later then. Maybe I should have been nicer. I mean, she meant well. No, whatever. What's good, man? What's good? Ready to make another banger? Hell oh, yeah, man. Alright, so, we're always gonna use that thing or what? We can use my phone if you want. Come on, man. You know why I use this thing. Yeah, I know, but like, isn't this for like a school project or something? Like, don't you want it to be higher quality? Nah, I don't care about all that. I'm sticking with this. Alright, whatever, man. I just think, you know, maybe the world could benefit from seeing my face in HD. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up, man. Alright, whatever. Let's do this. Yeah.
Hey man, you ever think about like posting this shit online? Nah man, this shit's for us. I mean, you think people actually want to watch this stuff anyways? Oh, I'm hurt. You don't think people want to watch me? No, what I meant. Okay, but like, isn't this like sort of what you want to do later on though? What, like this? I mean, I guess. What you mean you guess? This is all you talked about since you were little. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like recently, I've been thinking of what kind of stories I actually want to tell. Okay, here's an idea. How about any story? I know. It's just like, I want to do something that's important to me, you know? Okay, so is nothing important to you? No, that's not really... Okay, so recently my cousin moved in with us. You have a cousin? Dude, I know. I didn't even know. Like, I guess I met her when I was super, super little or something. But I don't even remember her at all. Okay, so what about her? I don't know. It's just... She came in and was just like... I don't know. I feel like she's already this daughter my mom never had. Okay, so you want to be the daughter that your mom never had? No, <laughs> that's not really... I just feel like in the couple of days she's been here, she already has this great connection with my mom that I could never get, you know? And plus she can speak Viet. I can't. <laughs> Dude, come on, I can't speak Viet. You think my mom loves me any less because I can't? Actually, I don't know if she doesn't. It's just like, what stories can I even tell? I can't say anything about Vietnam. And what am I supposed to say about America? I mean, it's not like I have some crazy experiences here or anything. I mean, this is the most we ever do. We go to McDonald's. Hey, how was your day? Um. How was your I heard you the first time. It was fine. Can you leave, please? I'm kind of busy. Um, I got a job at Brick Oven Pizza. It's pretty popular around here, right? That's great. I just, I just want to know about your day. You can't tell me. I told you. It was fine. Why are you all up in my business right now? Uh, it's just we haven't seen each other since we were babies and now I'm here and I haven't even gotten a chance to speak to I you yet. I so. don't want to talk to you. I might have known you when I was like five years old or something, but I don't know you now and I don't particularly care to know either. But why? Why are you so bent on treating me like this? I've done nothing to you. Because you're here. That's why. What does that mean? I didn't need you barging in here like you were a part of this family all of a sudden. You just show up one day and you start living with us like you've been here forever. Yeah, but I'm not staying here forever. I'm just waiting until my dad finishes up and then I'm going to go live with him and I'll be out of your life. Finishes up? With what? Um, I, I don't know. With whatever he's busy with. That doesn't even make any sense. You can't just live with him now even if he is busy? Well, I don't know. He just said I have to stay here for a while. Okay. Sounds like something else is going on, but you know, tell yourself whatever you need to. What does that mean? I don't know. Think about it. Vi con chuẩn bị xong xuôi để đi làm chưa? Mhm. Break time. Girl, get back inside. This is going to take longer than 15 minutes. And don't you have tables to bust? No, it's a slow day today, so Paul won't need me back for a while. Okay. It's on you if he gets mad, though. Okay, fine. Drive. Oh, uh, can you nav? I don't have a phone holder yet. Wait, what? How have you been driving around, then? Uh, I kind of just 
balance it on my thigh. <laughs> okay, that's not safe. So we're gonna stop by and get you something later. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you know that whole scare that's been going around with that virus? Yeah, what about it? I think they're planning on putting the city on a lockdown. What? Why? Is it really that serious? I guess. Well, they're only thinking about it. It says it's possible. Well, that better not happen. I need this job. Yeah, it probably won't, but... Anyway, I'm craving boba. Do you want to go after work today? That sounds so good, but I can't. I'm meeting with my dad today. Meeting? You make it sound like a work call. Well, I haven't seen him since I was a little kid. Oh, okay, that beats Boba my bile. Yeah, well, you better get back inside. Paul's probably gonna beat your ass if you don't get back to work. I know, I know. I'll see you later then. Bye. 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 Dạ, con chào bà. Ừ, con làm việc sao rồi? Dạ, cũng ok. Con ở nhà gì bà sao rồi? Ờ, uh, dạ, yeah, yeah, cũng uh, ok lắm. Uh, I have my own space and dì bà cooks for me and Cass. Ừ. Ừ, vậy cũng tốt. Yeah. Sao, lâu quá rồi bà mới gặp con gái. Con muốn đi ăn gì bà chở đi. Oh, anything is fine. I'm just happy to see you. Ừ. Để ba chở con ngoài nhà hàng này nổi tiếng lắm yeah. um, Ba ơi S Sao con? Um, originally you told me that when I came here I could stay with you Why did you send me over to stay at Yibaz? Ừ. Ừ. Ba xin lỗi con Tình hình chỗ ở của ba dạo này khó khăn lắm Okay, um, so when things get better, then can I come stay with you? Không được đâu con. Bà nghĩ con ra riêng là tốt nhất. Bà không lo cho con được đâu. Bây giờ bà đi làm chỉ đủ tiền để trả tiền nhà và ăn uống cơ bản. Vì con cũng là phụ nữ nên cũng biết cách dạy cho con gái của bà hơn. Con ráng đi nhà con. Bia. À, sao bà? Bà mới kết hôn với cô này. Bà có gia đình mới. Bà xin lỗi. Wait, what, what, what did you say? You, you have a wife? So, so you've been keeping this from me the entire time before I even came here? To, does, does mom know that you had a new family? Không. 
Bác không muốn hai mẹ con phải lo nên là So you brought me here because you feel guilty. Why did you even want to come meet me at all? Vì con phải bình tĩnh lại. But why did you tell me that I should come over here? Ừ thì Ba nghĩ là ba sẽ có chỗ ở cho con. Nhưng khi ba nói chuyện với cô ấy thì cô thấy không tiện cho gia đình lắm. So I see that you're still the same piece of shit that left me and mom so long ago. Nothing's changed. Ba chỉ muốn tốt cho con. Ba muốn con có môi trường tốt để học hành sinh sống. Ba lo cho con nhiều lắm vì à. Nhưng mà con cũng phải hiểu cho ba chứ. Okay, so just go take care of your new family then. Not hungry anymore. See you later, guys. when I was like six and I was just doing it again. I, I know I shouldn't feel like this, but like, I can't help but feel that like maybe I did something wrong in life or something. No, I, I know. Yeah, I just don't get why this has to happen to me. Well... Not to make things worse, but Paul just sent out an email. What's it say? I guess we are on lockdown now. Thousands of bottles of hand sanitizer. Other people may be left without necessities US like President food, Donald medicine, Trump and toilet paper. Suspension as a measure to contain the spread. As of Sunday, the there were almost 5,000 confirmed cases in Germany. This is a jump of more than 1,000 citizens beyond emergencies and essential services until further notice. Vanessa, how are you? Reduce work hour in half? That's a lot. Are you sure there isn't any way I could? No? I still have to pay my bills. Buying groceries. 
I bought grocery yesterday. Come home immediately. You're not supposed to be out anyway. Hello? Uh, yeah. Give me 15 minutes and I'll be there. Hey, y'all there already? Alright, be there in a bit. Where are you going? Nowhere. Just out for a bit. We're in lockdown right now. You don't need to be going out. I'll be fine. Plus, V just left. You didn't say anything to her. She has a job. COVID is such at a high level right now. You don't go out if you don't have to. Well, I have to, so I'm going. Have to do what? Destroy the city? Go riot? Stop talking about something you don't know anything about, Mom. Fighting and violence on the news all day long. You don't have to fight with them. You're going to get hurt for no reason. Don't take another step. I'm already gone. Alright, fine. Whatever. <sighs> This is Brick Oven. I'm downstairs with your pizza. Uh, hi, here's your pizza. Letting f out here touch the pizza shit? Sorry? Hey, sir, you're gonna have to pay for that. I'm not paying for something that your filthy hand f touch, alright? Take your money and get the f Hey, uh, do you, uh, I don't have my keys. Oh, okay. Is my mom home? Not right now. Yeah, if you could just open the door for me. Thanks. So, did it rain today or something? No. I'm sorry, I didn't know about your dad. Yeah, well, I guess I really didn't know about him either. That's not your fault. So, why are you wet exactly? It's nothing, just some guy. Well, I'm fine. Um, 
How was your day? Good. It's good. Um, a lot of people came through. That's good. I didn't mean to be such an ass to you all this time. Actually, that's not quite true, is it? I did mean it at first. But why? I don't know. I think it's mainly just... I never really had the best relationship with my mom. And I could never really talk to her. And you come along and you're just... You're just better. I don't know, it's all really stupid. No, it's not. Um, I guess I don't really know exactly what you're dealing with, but I guess I kind of got a glimpse of that with my dad. Yeah, your dad chose his own path and it didn't include you, but honestly, he's missing out. You're great. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I guess I'm pretty much over it now. It's just, it still just kind of sucks, you know? Yeah, I guess I can't totally understand your situation either. But hey, you have us now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that good at this type of stuff. But you know what makes me always feel better? This shit busting. Are you recording this? <laughs> no, nothing is important.
Dạo này chị khỏe không? Chị khỏe Tại cái dịch Covid Nên thời buổi Ê! Fresh fruit Buôn bán hơi ế Nhưng mà sức khỏe là quan trọng trên hết em ạ à. Dạ Lúc này chị có thấy anh mấy cái vụ biểu tình không? Ừ Có Tụi nó đập phá đồ tùm lum hết à Đánh lại cảnh sát nữa đó em Chứ không phải vừa đâu Dạ Em chỉ sợ lo cho con em nó đi đâu gần đó là nguy hiểm cho nó Thằng con trai em á Nó thích cái vụ biểu tình đó lắm Nên em lo lắm chị ơi Con chị cũng vậy nè em Để chị nói em nghe Tụi này nó thấy trên mạng Đi biểu tình rồi nó hùa theo Chứ nó không hiểu chuyện đâu Con nít Con nồi Con nhỏ mà nó không lo học hành con với trả cái Tụi này bây giờ Nó sinh ra lớn lên ở đây Nó đâu biết cảnh khổ của mình hồi xưa đâu em Dạ Mà có lo cho tụi nó cũng không hiểu Mà còn cãi lại nữa chị Ừ Tụi nó mà khó hé Ở Việt Nam giống vậy Là chết Có cơ hội sinh ra Rồi đi học thành tài ở Mỹ Mà nó không nắm lấy cơ hội như mình hồi xưa mới qua Không biết một chữ tiếng Anh Phải tự mò hết Không có người chỉ dẫn từng bước Tuổi nhỏ Sướng quá rồi Không biết quý Dạ I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. It's okay, Mom. We're fine. Fine, fine. Hai đứa ra đường làm cái gì hả? Cái này là cái gì hả? Mẹ đã nói bao nhiêu lần rồi mà không có ra đường biểu tình phá làng phá xóm rồi mà. Whatever, Mom. I'm going to my room. Không, con không có đi đâu hết á. Từ giờ là mẹ cấm con ra khỏi nhà. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Con còn sống trong nhà của này là con phải vẫn còn phải nghe lời của mẹ. Con nghĩ là con lớn lắm rồi hả? Mới có 20 tuổi đầu thôi à Ráng mà nghe lời người lớn nè Why would I listen to you When you never say anything I want to hear Con phải nghe lời vì mẹ là mẹ của con You might have lived longer than me But that doesn't mean you automatically know more than me I do It's more life experience They're just people mom Just like us oh, I don't want to talk about this with you anymore Từ lúc nào mà con thích đi giúp người vậy hả từ lúc nào mà con dính líu vào cuộc đời mấy người mỹ đen vậy hả? I haven't, but this is different. Haven't you seen the news? How can you have seen the news and not wanted to help out? I have seen the news, and I want nothing to do with this destruction. They're fighting for their lives. The least we can do is fight with them. Fight with them? Sao mà con có thời gian lo mấy cái chuyện này khi mà mẹ phải đi làm hai job để lo cho tụi con? Mẹ đâu có đi làm thêm để con không lo tập trung học rồi phí thời gian như vậy đâu. Waste of time? It's not a waste of time to care about people. But they're not people like you and me. They just make trouble for no reason. Why do we have to And I wanted to that? get a job but you keep telling me not to. Mẹ không muốn con phải vất vả. Mẹ không muốn con phải làm cô ly như mẹ. Lo mà học. Lo mà học để sau này con có việc làm tốt hơn mẹ. Con không còn quan tâm đến chuyện của người khác đâu con à. It's not like I'm not focused on myself. I'm not slacking with school stuff or anything. 
but there are just other important things as well, such as people getting murdered for no good reason. Nếu như mà họ nghe theo lời của cảnh sát, thì đã có chuyện gì đâu? Um, how about Grandpa? How about when he was beaten and thrown in jail when he did nothing wrong? You think the police are always right? Đó là chuyện khác. Đó là ở Việt Nam. Bởi vậy nên mẹ mới bỏ xứ sang đây để con có cuộc sống tốt hơn nha. America's not perfect, mom. Tất nhiên là nước Mỹ không có hoàn hảo, nhưng mà vẫn tốt hơn ở Việt Nam. Con không biết hồi đó tình cảnh ở Việt Nam như thế nào đâu. Of course I don't know what it was like back in Vietnam. You never tell me anything. I've never gone back. How could I possibly know? Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. I thought you loved Vietnam. Isn't that why you brought her back? So that you could actually have someone you could share Vietnam with? V, I took her here because she had no one to live with anymore. What about talking to me? What about telling me things about Vietnam? You guys are always talking in Vietnamese about Vietnamese things. I can't fucking understand any of it. I'm sorry I'm not your perfect Vietnamese child, but you didn't have to take a perfect one and shove it in my face and make me feel like a piece of shit. Mom, I feel like I can't talk to you. Con biết không, hồi mà con còn nhỏ đó, con nói chuyện với mẹ nhiều lắm. Lúc nào cũng kêu mẹ làm cái này cho con, làm cái kia cho con. Con còn thích xem chuyện cổ thích Việt Nam nữa đó. Rồi bắt đầu đi học, thì con ít nói tiếng Việt lại với mẹ. Ba con lúc nào cũng thân thiết với con hơn. Mẹ thì không bằng ba con. Sau khi ba con mất đi, mẹ phải bảo vệ con, vừa phải làm mẹ, vừa phải làm ba. Mẹ thấy mẹ mất ba con một cách rất là vô lý. Nhưng mà rồi, có ai muốn mất người thân của mình như vậy đó con? Bởi vì cho nên mẹ cũng không có muốn mất con. Nhưng mẹ biết, con thích đi. Mẹ biết chuyện này quan trọng với con Nhưng con có biết lúc nào mẹ cũng phải lo cho con hết không? I know mom I'm sorry for always being so angry with you I don't mean it I know I don't want to be stuck like this forever I want to talk to you It's okay con Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Sorry about that. We don't usually get that loud, but I guess we don't really talk that much either, so... Oh, and I didn't mean what I said about you being here. Yeah, uh, it's okay. I understand. Um, you needed to have that conversation with your mom. Yeah, but I just need you to know that I've really come around to enjoy having you here, and... I didn't really put much thought into how things were for you, so I'm sorry about that. No worries. Oh, and um, thanks for lying for me, but I'm far from perfect. I'm kind of just going through life without really much of a plan right now. I mean, but like, whoever really knows what's going on in their lives, like, honestly, like, if you have your life together, like, I don't trust you, like, <laughs> yeah, also, um, why oh. did you... Sorry about that. No, 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 don't be. I was just curious as to why. Well, um, you, you told me that nothing is unimportant. So I just kind of thought this would be important for you. It was, and it helped me think of an idea for something. So recently, I've been thinking about how my mom and I don't really understand each other, and how a lot of people just turn conversations into shouting matches and never really get anywhere with each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think 
we tend to write people off without really trying to understand them. And it'd be a much better situation if we could just, if we just knew each other a little better, you know? If we could just talk. And of course I agreed. You know, at the time I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Everything was so new to me. Mm, yeah, I can imagine that year must have been a bit rough for you. Yeah, that year was really, really scary. But I did so much growing up in just that year alone. And, oh, back to your question earlier. I think I always had a really good relationship with my mother. Um, and we always talked about everything. So I didn't really know what it was like without that. Um, so when I went to go talk to my dad, I was so ready to just run and jump back into his arms like I did when I was a little girl, but it didn't really go how I thought it would go. I didn't know anything about him. My mom didn't either. Even she didn't know about his new family. Uh, when I first got here, actually, um, I thought I would be living with him, but it turns out he didn't really have any room for me in his life. And I wrestled with that for a really long time. But eventually, I came to realize that not every story ends perfectly. My dad moved on with his new family, and I had mine. I might not have known them for much of my life, but they took me in, and they love me. They're not just my family because we're related, but because we choose to be there for each other. And was that your main drive? Because that year, I saw the power of communication, and what good and healthy conversation could actually do. And I, of course, seen all of your work, but I understand that you all will be releasing for the first time. Uh, one of the first conversations that you have co recorded, correct? Uh, way back when? Mm -hmm. The first conversation, actually. Um, go. Hello? Con Vi Bà đang đợi trước cổng chỗ con ở Con xuống nói chuyện với bà một chút được không? You sure about this? I mean, just a couple months ago, it didn't seem to go all that well. You know, not everything has to end happily, right? No, I know. I'm not looking for a happy ending. I just want to talk. I feel like I left last time in a really bad way. Hmm, I get that. I just want to make sure there isn't more, you know? I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. I want to know if there's good conversation to be had. Okay, um, good luck and I'll be here if you need me.